What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we have our new build right there. And it was my great granddad's and my grandpa inherited, so it means a lot to us. And my grandpa wants us to rewire it and it does not run. So in this episode, we're just gonna like, do a walk around of it and see all what we got and do a quick cleanup. saying we got a tractor that we're gonna build next and we asked all of you last uh, episode to guess what it was and I think one person got it right so this is a Ford you can barely see it 4100 and I think it's like a 1965 to 75 model but it hasn't ran in probably five to ten years it's been sitting up and it has a lot of leaks I don't know why it's still leaking after 10 years somebody must have added more fluid to it but it's rusty greasy paints coming off of it stickers are faded um, the tires are dry rotted on it and somehow all the wiring burn up on it let me show you this first look how rusty the grill is this has been up we're gonna fix all that got dirt dauber nest Let's see. See all the wiring on it? All this is somehow it just fried. So we got a new wiring kit right here. I don't know if that even fits this tractor, but it came with it. So and this tire here is completely dry rotted. It won't hold air, but maybe one minute. Um, so we got another tire over here that's semi dry rotted that we're going to put on it just to roll it around until the new tires come in. So I don't even know if the tractor runs. Um, so we're going to change the tire first, hook it up to the truck, pull it out, soak it down with some super clean degreaser, pressure wash it, and get it clean and then bring it back in and then Next episode, we'll start sanding it down to paint. All right, let's get the tire changed, and then that way we can get it out of here. Get a little oil on the threads first, that'll help. Just a little bit on each one. Pro with some good oil. Way better than WD-40.
right, we got the tire off. It was completely rusted on it, the hub. I had to beat it off with that hammer. So, since I'm old, I'm gonna use the impact to put it on. Don't want to put too much because that stuff's old. Just maybe two, three ooga doogas. That's tight enough. All right. Don't do this at home, this is dangerous. This is a wore out jack. Alright. Let's see if I can release this old thing. We got the tire changed. Now we're gonna put the rope on and tow it out. good you don't want that too tight like back off like a quarter of a turn right there that's it that other piece won't clip around all right you get on at the steer you may have to push the clutch in if it's in gear i, don't, I think it's out of gear So when you pressure washing it, you don't want to shoot the alternator or the uh, starter directly. It's electronic, and you don't want to get water up inside of it. Super Clean sent us some products to try out, and this couldn't have come at a better time. It's a degreaser, so we're gonna coat this engine down good. Still got a lot of leaks, but we're gonna get it good and clean and change the hoses. So Tyler, you wanna start spraying it down? Mm-hmm. Spray it, we let it soak, then we give the tractor a good wash. Coat it good. You got this side good? I'm working on it. Coat it good because it's been sitting for 10 years. Look at this. 
try this one for the other side. There you go. That way we can see which, I'm sure it's the same stuff. I think it's on. Start at the top, spray down. Probably should have put some plastic under the tractor. Yeah. It's gonna stain up the driveway. I didn't think about that. Look at all that nasty stuff dripping. This stuff works good. Yeah, it's already working. We gave it about five minutes to soak, and now Tyler's gonna pressure wash all the grease, and then we're gonna coat it with some soap, and then wash the soap off, and that should be good. And we'll tomorrow we'll sand it down, get it ready for paint.
taking this non kinking hose from Amazon. Open the hood and spray some in there too. All the way. And spray the underside of the hood. All right, so we just finished washing down the tractor. We're gonna let it dry for a bit and then we're gonna move it back in the garage. But this super clean worked awesome. I give it a 10 out of 10. It cleaned that grease off very good. So we just, when it's done drying, we're gonna put it back in and then the next video, we're gonna start sanding it and strip it down of parts. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm out of breath after pushing that thing back. I'm out of shape. But uh, we got to got it washed down, cleaned up. Thanks again to Super Clean for sending us those products to try out. And you saw the ultimate test here. This was some old caked on grease and it came off like, I don't know what. But uh, so we got it clean. Next episode, we're going to strip it all apart, start sanding on it. Probably take this grill off. Might have to heat this up, straighten this out. I'm gonna try to color match everything how it's supposed to be. It ain't gonna be no showroom tractor, but it's gonna be a lot better than what it is. And get it rewired, try to get it cranked up and running. So stay tuned and we will see you on the next video.